What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I washed my loose natural hair for the first time in almost 3 years. So, let's get into it. Okay, so I finished combing out the first quarter section of my locks on February 8th, 2020. And by this point, I was not happy with the state of my hair and scalp. It had been months since my last wash day. So I decided to go ahead and wash each quarter section of my loose natural hair when I had completed combing out each quarter section. Now with that update out the way, it's time to start washing my loose natural hair. So here I'm using an old faithful which I'd started using since the beginning of my lock journey and that is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. And as you know, I like to apply my shampoo directly to my scalp using a tinting brush and bowl in order to allow for an even distribution of the shampoo for a thorough clean. Once I'm done applying it to my scalp, I ensure to massage the shampoo into my scalp to disrupt and loosen any buildup on my hair and scalp. Then I apply water to my hair to create a nice lather to help lift all the dirt from my scalp. And a looky here at my curl pattern ladies <laughs> now if you know what my hair type or curl pattern is then please go ahead and drop a comment below and let me know as I would truly appreciate your insight into this because I am a loose natural newbie at this point and again I'm just scrubbing rubbing and massaging my scalp for that thorough clean After this, I rinsed my hair and welcomed the shrinkage. Then followed up with applying conditioner to my hair strands. Using the water tooth part of my all-purpose comb, I am attempting to detangle my hair. But not to worry ladies, I have been learning more about the right types of combs to use when detangling and how to properly detangle my hair. Because like I said, I am a newbie when it comes to my loose natural hair, okay? So please don't judge me too hard. After leaving the conditioner on my hair for about 3 minutes, it was time to rinse and then apply the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Hair Mask. As hair masks are used to provide further nourishment to the hair strands, I decided to apply this to smaller sections of my hair, unlike the application of the regular conditioner. And then I covered my hair with a shower cap for about an hour and a half. And again, you can definitely check the cards above to learn a little bit more about the use of conditioners.
Then I rinsed my hair. And from this footage here, it seems as though I maintained properly balanced moisture protein levels throughout my lock journey, as that bounce back is a testament to my hair's elasticity. And with no products added to my hair, my hair was feeling quite soft and relatively easy to manage. Moving on to the next step after washing my hair, I am applying my homemade hair butter to small sections of my hair strands for added nourishment. Then of course, I am using my Here We Grow hair growth oil to nourish my scalp to keep it healthy and to promote healthy hair growth. Now, if you would like to get your hands on a bottle of my hair growth oil for 30% off, then be sure to send me an email to place an order before 11.59 p.m. British Summertime on March 31st, 2020. Now, what I really like about using this pipette style applicator is that you can control the distribution of the oil on your scalp as opposed to using a nozzle styled applicator. So you aren't wasting or using more oil than needed. Once I'm done applying my hair growth oil to my scalp, I massage the oil into my hair and scalp to seal in the moisture. And when it's all said and done, I put my hair in a small hair tie, do a two strand twist, then stretch and pin it back to air dry. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you found today's video very helpful. And if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next week, Sunday at 5 p.m., we will be right back here with another video.